It's a good day to be a gamer. After two years of playing online and in our houses, we are finally playing in person. We've got the teams all lined up and ready to go. We've got the casters here gr just brimming at the edge to get <laughs> around the camera. Get up and get loud. It's game day. Welcome to the Rocket League Championship Series Fall Major driven by Ford. And let's talk about <laughs> who is here because this is, I can't believe we're saying this. This is the most international event we have ever had in the history of our eSport. We've at most had four regions. We have six here. Every one of these teams, the best in Rocket League, the top dogs from the from all over the world. I mean, every single one of them is a storyline in and of themselves. Question this weekend will be how does North America compare to Europe? Because now we can actually settle the damn debate. We don't have to sit on Twitter <laughs> and just throw missiles back at each other. We can have the discussion and we can see who wins. Will Europe and North America be the stronger region or will someone from Oceania or Australia come out and just annihilate everybody who knows what's actually going to happen but nrg versus era coming on your screens in just a moment era eternity will have to play out of their skulls in order to take down the big dogs oh man i you know i i don't know what to expect like there's so much that i you get expectations you have ideas of what could happen but then you go back and you start thinking about you know we haven't been on land in two years no, like what does that throw into this uh, what are these players feeling right now and these are not looking great these promising touches from nrg quickly get taken back era doing a very nice job of contesting a lot of the open looks Touch starting to get these shots on net that one's on target and first to score is gonna be math from era eternity energy down zero to one 25 left on the clock i'm telling you man there's something weird about day ones of major take the first game here in this best of five well 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 interesting story right out the gate here a little bit of boost gonna try and take it low it looks like he's trying to get snipes to go high for it but doesn't fight he comes in able to make the save cross under the bar squishy there to finish it's only a matter of time finally they find what they've been looking for in game one justin with the double touch to the corner make it a triple all the way around and squishy is there to secure it on the opposite side just get started get the scoring going like what we saw with dig they did it quite nicely and on the opposite end a pinch a save and now we'll tie it up that one's gonna ping pong around a little bit of little action here in front of the net math tries to force it through but a great save crossbar over and Matt coming back out of the net Looking for the shot and there's gonna be it no another Dude. goal line diving save from snipes Keeps this game alive. OT continue. This is the strangest game number two for a major I think I've seen yeah, in a yeah. long time. It's just so it it's just unexpected too. The situation, some of these saves, like it it hasn't been like oh they're just oh there it is. Okay, finally gonna go through. Justin finds the hole. They eventually do break through the area. Eternity. Uh, Scramble fence is what I'm going to call it because the defense isn't necessarily clean rotation. Every time we saw a save, it was on the goal line. Last moment, do or die, have to make that touch, and they just continued to find those saves. Back-to-back -back games in this series for a chance at a 2-1 lead. Repeatedly looking for that lower left corner, too, was NRG. Justin trying to come through, get the solo play, can't get it past Matt, didn't have enough boost to rotate down and get to it in time. And that one's just gonna fall in. 11 seconds in, Garrett with the soft touch takes down game number three. NRG is really just making their fans wait through this excruciating process. And then they, they show up in OT. That's two OTs back to back where NRG have closed the deal. 2-1 lead in the series. And well, that, that wasn't really an OT. It was just kind of like everybody just showed up and played an extra 10 seconds. Threatening as it may be, NRG looking poised for a first goal here in game four. This one here, gonna be on Garrett. He brings it through the corner, has some space. Nobody in front of him. Over snipes, throws it up. Justin there, and that's the type of pass plays we're looking for. Nice little give, just a quick toss up from Garrett here over the defender, and Justin always, always ready to jump for just about any ball. Yeah, they're looking to play them in that kind of man-to-man -man situation, but they're also again, it's their their field awareness is just a little bit higher. It feels like they're finding the hole. They're finding their way through the opponent more often than not, just with little touches, nothing crazy. And again, the boost expenditure on the era side, each time they come down, you'll see that they're doing, you know, almost 
self touches looking for a double touch off the backboard which turns into maybe i can get the read but not on this justin he'll solo his way through and uh a little 117 action for the day very fitting very fitting and with that nrg will win their first of the fall major nicely done all the way down to game four it looked a little bit shaky but with all that said, it's a 3-1 win, and, well, that's all you really need. Just secure it. It's Garrett, the 3-0, and that's done. NRG doing very nicely in their opening start here of the Major. And for fans, sigh of relief. Breathe. It's okay. They won their opening match, but all credit to Era Eternity for how they played that all the way to Game 4. Very easily could have been a five-game series. So let's talk about another team that has a, a very... So two teams actually have very, very good wins in general. It's gonna be the last match of the day here for round two. Mm -hmm. I am so pumped. The, the general NRG going up against BDS. The two, the, the, the this is the story of RLCSX. This is this is if we could have had an international finals that we would have been excited about in, in, in RLCSX. This it would have been these two teams. And you can tell both teams really trying to get comfortable on the field, find that rotation. They're up against, of course, the Monkey? juggernauts, like you Ooh. said. And there's Monkey Moon to slip it under the defense for the first goal of the series. Love this play here from Monkey Moon. Extra pulls away from it, and Justin's left all by himself oh. to try to get under that, and Justin took that 50 a yeah. little high. We are in for a treat, ladies and gentlemen. Team BDS versus NRG. I can't get over this. First few seconds here for NRG. Justin, another 50, and gonna keep working towards BDS territory. Here comes Squishy, a flip reset. Does he get it? He had the follow-up, and it's in the back of the net. Squishy Muffins, the flip reset. It's the first goal for NRG. So much talk is about Justin, but look at that from Squishy. That was thick. Caught it off the ceiling, got the flip reset. Right away, it's Justin. A half or a midfield shot, excuse me, as a follow-up from Gary G comes in. Extra back in the corner. Not the best touch, and he got Ooh, punished for it. Squishy, squishy got two. Squishy on fire. The accuracy is there. The mechanics is there. Everything so far has been connecting. Gerchi left that shot. Squishy crashed in and found the perfect placement. Back to Monkey Moon. Here's a chance. Marked by eight. Gets the bump. Monkey Moon comes back down. Oh, and it saves off the crossbar. But extra, extra there. Collects the goal. Monkey Moon doing so much work here. You can see off the backboard. Marked by eight also took out the defender. I thought this was just Monkey Moon doing so much work. But no, it's Marked by eight getting the demo on the backboard. That was crucial from Squishy Muffins to basically stall as much time as you possibly could. And then every touch. I mean, on either side of the field, it's just right back into the corner. And it's hard It's hard, It's hard. hard to really get set up on offense when the play doesn't go the way you expect. Oh, this was a good a bouncer for Monkey Moon, and BDS get the first goal. And I got to see this again. It, it looked like there was a physical play from Extra as he got the follow-up. The touch off the backboard, but then Squishy was just a little bit late. Oh, I'm Justin. not really sure what happened there. Energy just can't get comfortable. A lot of these touches unanswered, moving down the field, finding themselves with that same issue that I was... Uh, critiquing BDS for where it's just one big clear nobody's there for a response and Ooh. the boost is a factor check out Monkey Moon with this ridiculous shot Monkey Moon picks this one up got the pass back over to Mark by and look at that shot right on it's a tough angle to hit that one off the post take it away by Garrett again but BDS in full control in game number three Mark keeps this one up back over to the corner seconds. more time off the clock Justin, Justin got okay. the shot it came Hold down on. for free, so Justin takes it with three seconds Day left. one has been crazy, Jorby. <laughs> I don't really believe, but there's definitely a chance off the corner. Justin, he's had a rough game, I'd say, individually here in this series so far. But maybe that goal will fuel him with confidence. I you, saw that bounce. You believe it's something. I, I don't know what, no, I don't know what, though. I saw that bounce go up, and I was like, this is it. Finally. <laughs> we, we've got something spicy. Extra up high, challenging Garrett's defense, but it holds. Monkey Moon cuts this one off. Oh my Justin goodness. uses Justin all the moves. Missed, he's missed it. it. Marked by eight wasn't what? expecting it, and nobody got the touch. And at what point do you not blame Mark by eight? Because you expect Justin of oh. all players to get the touch, and there he is to find contact. Monkey, Monkey Moon. Moon. He's been Monkey doing Moon. this all game oh. long. He does find the double tap, and Monkey Moon secures the win for BDS. Team BDS take down NRG in four, and not who oh else other than Monkey Moon to put in the series winning goal. He was flying all around the pitch. It's like there were two of them. Wow. Usually expect NRG to win those, but I, I, I would again. I agree at peak. I think I just we haven't seen it, and I want to. I, anyone knows most of the desk usually in the RLCS 
our, our energy fans, they're Garrett G fans. They they love uh, that this guy is still so strong. One thing Endpoint really got going for it is NRG has faced a lot of talent in their time together. They haven't mm -hmm. faced a player quite like Seiko. The way he took over and dominated in the European split. Second to none in the region, but hasn't been that Seiko here at land. If he comes alive, NRG gonna have a rough go of it. Seiko shot here, saved away. Follow up, brought right back in. Seiko, shot, score! Seiko, the man we've all been hyping up. Grabbing the first goal in this best of five off a beautiful touch there from Metzenaris from the side. That's clinical. Good cut there. I like the heads up. NRG not rushing towards anything. If they can get control, that'll be their first priority. It is difficult though. Endpoint's moving fast in the air. Wishy wide to try and set up Justin, but it's gonna be Garrett G all alone at the back with Metzenaris bearing down on him. NRG struggling to clear the zone for any appreciable amount of time. Justin up high, got the read! Justin's back, it's tied! NRG answers back nicely. Look at this speed from Justin. How do you read this? Around in front. Justin lets it go. Garrett G for the win! And the captain can't score. Follow-up saved away. And Squishy unable to end it there he's had a few opportunities to put this game away in the second half and into overtime now justin good ball out to midfield but metzenoris read it quickly conserved his boost seiko now picked his spot almost scored here's metza and point takes game one beautiful precision from metzenoris he had so many defenders from NRG in the way garrett and justin had that entire left side covered, he had to put it off the far post, and he does. Metzenaris, a minute 42, and they take it. Just a little bit quicker, and those split seconds matter. Metzenaris has Seiko. Land offense is a thing, too. Big demolition. Wishy still with the save. Seiko for relating wave. What a pass! What a play! What a team! The OT winner placed far right. And the game two opener placed far right. Wishy trying to outlet for Garrett G. Now Seiko. Seiko going to take this himself. And Justin up there to meet him. Didn't let him get the shot off. Boom downfield. Justin's not going to be able to get to this in time. Seiko with the challenge. Now Squishy taking it into his own hands. Far side and he scores. Squishy finally on the board. Hey, just because your defense was struggling doesn't mean your offense has to as well. Good read from Squish. He beats out Relating Wave. He was close. Seiko shot trying to generate a rebound. Relating Wave couldn't play that any further, though, as Garrett wins this back to the end point half of the field. Down to a minute 10 to try and level this game at two goals apiece. Metza. Drop that back for Relating Wave. This is trouble. Seiko all alone and saved by the post. Now here goes Seiko. Looking to take advantage of the NRG defense. Drop down for Relating Wave off the rebound. Metzenaris is there. Another clutch goal from Metza. Tied game. Almost a setup there from Seiko's Justin that actually cleared that one down center. Honestly, hasn't been the hardest thing in this series. But they were trailing. Justin. Big drive, and immediately NRG answers as they continue to score in bunches in game two. Good touch from Squishy. I like Justin's speed. That's what we want to see. Relating wave again. Trying to drop this in front, and Squishy has that clear too. Seiko. Near the mark. Easily dealt with by Justin. That's a great pass though towards Seiko. Didn't quite lead him far enough. And now NRG will try to burn away the final 10 seconds. Garrett G almost reluctantly coming on to play that ball. Justin up high, looking to score here, no and he does! Way. This is what you want to see out of Justin. 
1v3. Get out of my way. Beautiful dunk. Those defenders had no chance. And NRG take a two-goal lead with two seconds left. They're going to tie up the series one-to-one. -one. Assists have been a talking point for many of these series here at LAN. We've seen so many great individual efforts. That's the first goal without an assist in this series. Justin making it happen all on his own to put that game away. Emphatically, NRG ties the series. Relating wave, clean win. Got Seiko trailing behind. This will angle downward and set away by Justin. Mets had to stay way back. A little slow getting up the side wall. NRG going to make him pay. It's Justin again from Squishy. Justin is going to carry on his momentum from the first one. Great setup. Halfway mark endpoint, sure, are holding in, but they've not been able to find any true threatening shots. They've been stuck trying to poke from that midfield. So NRG's definitely done a lot better job of making sure Endpoint can't find an offense. That <laughs> They've certainly found their own offense. And who is it but none other than Justin again with the goal? It's just not fair. Not at this point. One went away from dispatching Endpoint here in the third round. Man, this was a different tale in game one. We saw NRG struggling on that defensive half. Not that easy, but I, I do think trying to take away those back corners from NRG, that boost, is going to be important. And um, looks like two minutes already passed at Endpoint. All right. <laughs> Up a goal. Ah, I see we have decided to apply the all handicap for NRG. Justin, so good, we've given Endpoint a goal. We'll find out exactly who scored that in a moment as we are halfway through our fourth game, a game that Endpoint has to win to avoid dropping to one and two. Actually, just by process of elimination, i tell you, it's probably Seiko. I think it's Seiko. Why wouldn't it be? Here's Justin. Oh, I mean, that's a safe bet off. off the bat. <laughs> and that will seal it for Endpoint. They go to game five. Yeah, I didn't expect this one to be a quick series. In all honesty, you talked about this being a coin flip. You're absolutely right. And we're seeing that going to a game five now. Justin's picked up the pace. Endpoint has at least quieted Justin for a game. Now we go to Champions Field. Does Metza have the ice? Can Seiko come alive? His shot is through, sitting on the oh goal line and in. How many goal line situations have we seen? At this Sweden major, Seiko comes down and finishes this one off by himself. And this is why Endpoint is looking so good. They got a solid team with a solid point man in Seiko. Squishy to the heaven. He's got Garrett G all the way across. His shot on the money. And we're immediately tied up in five. This has been a battle of Justin versus Seiko, but Justin doesn't want all the credit. Beautiful pass. But Garrett G, good clear. This might be an own goal. It is dangerously close to the net. What Ooh. a save by Relating Wave. Remember that touch that set this up as Endpoint just barely gets out of trouble. No. And then Relating Wave turns it into a goal. If that ain't a counterattack, I don't know what is. Beautiful touch from Metzanaris to make sure that Squishy had no idea how that was going to bounce out. But that attacker was out of boost. Past the halfway mark, NRG in game five. Still can't find that tying goal. NRG has caught a few breaks. Here in game five, they have not cashed in on those opportunities. Justin, going to take this through himself. The letting wave got a piece, and this is just going to find its way in. Metzanoris couldn't catch up, and Justin ties the game from way downtown. Who got that demo on the far side? I missed it, but that opened up the defensive half. I think it was Squishy. And Garrett G over the top of Relating Wave. And NRG can finally clear the zone. Had to be up quick was Metza with Justin in the air. And this water falls down. This is dangerous. End point for the Shot. lead. It's Seiko! 
Seiko versus Justin is the story of this match. Back and forth, Endpoint taking the lead, a minute left. He's always there for the setup or the cleanup. By the youngster Seiko, the rookie. Sensational here in game five, even game four against NRG. Can Endpoint pull it off with five seconds? Empty no net way. and Garrett G comes through. A small opening for a brief moment. Opens up on the Endpoint defense and Garrett G finds the only slot it could be put and ties it up 3-3 with three to go. NRG's kickoffs have been lethal. Another opportunity relating which got it down this and does. Alpha went to overtime. The Omega in overtime as well. Game five on Champions Field. Stacks, there is no way this could have been anything other than a game five overtime. This is incredible. Two of the best in the world going at it here. In the third round, one will be one win away from the top eight. The other will be a loss away from being knocked out of the major. It is a cruel, cruel format. Most are. Justin couldn't get around on this. Zeko and Metza can, but that's pushed Ooh. wide. That was a dangerous approach Let's there. On point. Had We're the opportunity. Wait. They can't finish it off. Yeah, they go again, boy. Just opportunity after opportunity there, Leaf. Endpoint. Probably having NRGs watching the series flash before their eyes. What a clear by Justin with relating wave coming down. And now Squishy. Lob up for Justin. No, sir. Seiko, the better of the two this time. For a minute of overtime, both teams having scoring opportunities. My hands are raised behind my head right now because this is as tense as it can get for either of these teams. A 2-1 record would be beautiful. As you mentioned, this Swiss is unforgiving once you get to this stage. Great win by Garrett G. Could serve some boost as well. Now he's out. And going to have a tough time finding more. Metza Norris dishes that off to the side. Justin brought it in front. It's on the goal line, but Squishy could not finish. The crossbar denies NRG. Justin thought about it. He has to retreat. Thought the last moment it was Seiko that had him beat. And now what a win by Relating no way. Wave. End point off the steal by Relating Wave are now two and one. It almost ends how it started. Squishy leaving the net just a little bit too soon opens up that lane for endpoint and they steal it away from justin and endpoint come out victorious in a game five overtime we got one more to go between two teams we did not expect to be talking about at this stage vitality taking on nrg both teams sitting at one and two loser goes home this is crazy we need to beat NRG because uh, if we lose, we are out of the tournament, so of course we need to win. We're going to have to beat Vitality and beat another team today if we want to go to the playoffs. Our game plan versus NRG is to ball chase a bit because they don't like this and to bump a lot. At the end of the day, like you can't overthink it. You just have to play your game. We feel really good today, so I think today we are the best team. We do feel pretty confident today. Uh, we have to feel confident today, like I was saying, because if we lose any games, we're actually out of the event already. I think they might get a game or two off of us, but with confidence and teamwork, we can take it. Today, we are going to win. Vitality here, just based off the strength of the performances that we've seen so far, and already a shot coming out from NRG. They've had a, they've had a tough run of Swiss as well. You, you, you don't go one and two in Swiss without having some problems, but Justin makes sure there's no problem on that goal. Immediately shouting nice as soon as that goal goes in as well. Justin starting off the scoring exactly how he wants to, but that mistouch from Fairy Peak, that's the assist that they needed. They squoze out a win. They managed to get it. That's the reason why they are here today, and they didn't join Tokyo Birdie down in that Norton 3.
Vitality need to run off that confidence, know that they can beat these South American teams that have dominated previously, but squishy, right place, right time, goal number two. That was a tough one for Vitality to contend with. That's a perfect bounce for Squishy, and Alpha rushing back, was hoping that Fairy Peak would get a decent clear out of it, but it kicked out right on the opposite side of Vitality. Right at the bottom, Kade up somewhere in the middle of the pack, and despite the fact that Alpha has done those brilliant, brilliant performances, it just means that he is going to have to be carrying from the top. Garrett G getting three for North America. Well, Vitality lost a couple of wheels on this play. That ball bounced right over Kate Hops, but right off of his hood. Position to steal the ball away from Vitality as soon as they start to bear down on that blue net. They're starting as they mean to go on, and they are looking very mean. Justin, what a fake! My goodness, what a dominant start from NRG, like you said. Justin starting off well. That punch from Kato. He had to contend with Squishy and the little stutter step from Justin to get NRG the fourth goal. Pitches it across, and you talk about Alpha and his significance to this Vitality roster. It's not just at the land that Alpha's been performing, but all fall he has been putting Vitality in a position to be in. <laughs> what does it matter? I mean, Justin just can't stop scoring. We've had half of the game. NRG. Dismantling Vitality. We normally save that call for game number five. If it's a 3-0, whatever. We're two and a half minutes in, Jorby. Fairy Peak tips this one up. And you're already thinking game, I mean, with two minutes left, you're already thinking NRG, this is the best position you could possibly be in. But if you're Vitality, how do you stop this attack? Gary G gets the sixth one. They're smashing them. What is happening? This is Vitality. This is the season eight world championship grand finals. And this is the performance from NRG. Never seen a more confident start than that against a former world champion, against the only other world champions here in this tournament in Sweden, the general NRG kicking off this series by kicking Vitality hard. It's just that the defense from NRG was holding so firm and Vitality saves were near non-existent. That first minute looked promising from Vitality in game one. They had good passes oh. in the attacking third and then this oh. just happened. It's a blunder from Vitality just to get to freebie. Heartbreaking if you're a Vitality fan watching that one roll so devastatingly close, but Justin getting the dunk. Fairy Pig watches it trickle into the orange net. NRG one away from eliminating Vitality. I cannot overstate how much better that was from Vitality though. They may not have had quite as many shots, only racking up six in total, but the fact they did not get six owed, I'm gonna count that as a positive. And meanwhile over here, NRG and Vitality, two stalwart teams, and it's oh. NRG putting it in the back of the net, Garrett G on top. The most animated man at the moment as he goes up from his own half, Spends the boost, gains a goal from it. That's an investment that is going to pay dividends later on. And a good 50 as well, but Vitality, there's no immediate follow-up ready. They got to wait for Squishy. He pops it over Kadop, forces Alpha to make the play. Squishy again in front of the box. He's got Justin, and he squeezes it through three defenders. NRG just keeps scoring. 2-0, minute one, and it's just an error from Fairy Pig. Starts to go for the ball and then decides not to, threading that needle through Vitality. For NRG, 10 seconds left, and it feels like it might be oh! a victory lap, and that's just the exclamation point on top of an incredible performance, a perfect sweep for NRG. Nobody expected that to happen. Nobody saw this matchup and thought it would be anything less than brilliant from both sides. With everything on the line, NRG were the only team with any amount of pressure that they could deliver and they have utterly dismantled Vitality. I'm going to use the word embarrassing because that was dreadful from Vitality, but I also want to lift up NRG because my God, did they look good. I, I, and who would have thought NRG would be having to defend, having, having to defend wow. off one more team here? Of course, it had to be Torsos. Who's, it's got to be. Right? He's, of course, he's tweeted at him as well. He's, I, think, I can't remember the exact wording, but he's called out Garrett G. He's 2-0 against him, trying to go uh -huh. three in a row. I don't know, though. NRG looked pretty phenomenal earlier on today. Beating Ground Zero would be would be huge for us. Getting top eight would be uh, super important for, for qualifying for Worlds later down the line. So it's uh, it's pretty important. Yeah, I'm the guy, so of course, I'm going to be popping off. I guess the name just because I've beaten him twice on then. So it's sort of... <laughs> Sort of a bit of a name, I guess. No, I don't think he's in my head. You can keep the name the Garrett G Slayer. You know, it makes me feel special. You know that someone cares. So, yeah. I like it. Gotta say the Garrett Slayer 3-0 NRG.
this Ground Zero squad has earned the respect and we might see some fireworks. Yes, it would not be the first time, and there is a decent amount of potential. I mean, they're right. Anfis has played well. Corsas has consistently been a top performer in the Oceanic region. And as well, oh, early oh, oh. Ding Dong open the door. It's ground zero. And it's none other than Amphis, that young gun coming out of OCE off the sidewall, punching it dead center. And RG gearing up on the attack. The ground zero defense holding firm for now. Justin taking time around one. Leaves it for another. Garrett didn't want to commit everything to that play. And that one's oh, trying wow. to sneak in underneath the crossbar. Uh, surprised that one got through. Uh, so uncontested. I mean, Express and Torsos both just kind of following the ball here. And Express, I think, just read the spacing on that challenge a little differently. They're playing pretty solid defense against an NRG that, while not pressing, I think, as hard as we know they can, they are making them uh, really go through the paces, I would say, on defense and make sure that there's no gaps there in the fundamentals of it. But NRG's been able to keep possession. Squishy flip, reset, air dribble! That was amazing from Squishy. Well, it says make sure there's no gaps in the fundamentals. Can you defend the flip reset <laughs> plus the extra touch? Not quite. Spike getting that first goal. Ground zero. Find themselves fighting from behind. Ooh, Squishy space. to Garrett. A banger! Top shelf! Tough one to handle here for Amphis. You see this outlet pass here. Justin able to just straight beat Torsos. Torsos thinking they've got Justin on the ropes. and. That just shows you don't play enough against Justin. But again, we see some nice set pieces off the kickoff from ground zero. It's that type of attention to detail that it's going to take to beat a mechanically talented team like NRG. Oh, jeez, That's not even oh. fair. That, that, that is classic NRG attack right there. Beat the man. Squishy flip across. Justin beat <laughs> Torsos off the goal line. Garrett G keep away as they recover. And then when they're finally out of options. And you know they want it. As Johnny said, it has not been a clean Swiss stage for NRG. Ooh. Justin making a clean save. A real big opportunity here for Torsas. Going to deliver. Get him right back into the mix. Two goals down. Two minutes remaining. And a nice quick go, uh, go at the offense for ground zero here. And, and that, that play from Amphis catching the ball in the corner, dribbling it up. Nice middle game there for NRG. And if your torso is there, you got to deliver in that opportunity because NRG doesn't give you too many oh. looks like that one as Amphis almost able to convert the flip reset. Now it's a race between Squishy and Garrett. They're going to go right at Torsos. Oh! And he's going to turn it in. Squishy out of boost, seemingly out of options, but the save comes down right oh, at him. Torsos needed to keep that higher, needed to get that out of the clutches of Squishy Muffins. Literally anywhere but where he put it. <laughs> RG move up 2-0 in the series. Not an easy one. Again, I actually feel like Ground Zero, to be honest, played the better game here. They definitely held a lot more pressure. Just able to give the ball a little tip. Oh! And RG unable to break down Ground Zero. What a stand. The goal line stand from Ground Zero. Will it be enough? The slow play shut down from Justin. Hard oh, pass is. over to Squishy. Squishy oh, yeah. shoots low. He read the defense like a book. You're absolutely right. This was all about placement here. You can see Express just on the start of that replay rotating hard into the near post. And you really have to value that communication and that approach on defense to not panic. It's real easy to do against a team like NRG. As, oh, why does it go in with nobody up for it? <laughs> We'll take another look on the replay. You see Express tipping it out and decided to stay on the back wall, oh. giving too much space. Only half of the equation. You've got to be a complete team to beat him, and the offense just hasn't been able to bring the arms to bear here. Under a minute left to play. Ground zero. Oh, wow. Their defense holding up, <laughs> but they need some offense right away. Another uh. shot will be good for NRG. Justin putting NRG up three to nothing. It looks like they have this one in the bag of Chiefs. It's looking that way. Three up, 48 seconds. Ground zero really have made them work for their meal, though. They had a rough start. They got run through the ringer. But in the end, they fought through and made it.
past the Swiss stage and into the playoffs. And much like you see many teams qualifying here for the major, doesn't really matter how you end up there. And NRG kind of have the same route to make the playoffs tomorrow. So an awkward run, but it's done and they're through and that's all that counts. <laughs> and ground zero. And of course, <laughs> Justin clearly <laughs> happy to give Squishy a big hug. He did play well. Yeah, can, can you question the team chemistry <laughs> from NRG? This is Ooh. this is juicy, folks. You got no idea what you're in for here. Dignitas oh versus Semper, Complexity versus BDS, Phase versus Endpoint, and Sandrock Gaming taking on the number one seed from North America, NRG. That that top side of the bracket is stacked with EU teams, so yeah. I think we're pretty much guaranteed an EU team in the final. Bro, I'm you know well, Johnny, I'm so sad. Though. I'm so oh, sad yeah. for you. You Complexity is about to rinse the entire <laughs> European lineup. <laughs> I would be That's happy. all right, because Sandrock's got a red set A, so it works <laughs> out. Honestly, I, I, don't, I don't like calling one team the best in a matchup like this. I think it's, it's too close to call, to be honest. It might be the boring answer, but I think genuinely they're an incredible team. They, they match us in skill. I think everyone knows that I'm a squishy fanboy. I've been trying to play the way he does, and I'm really looking forward to playing against him. And yeah, I can't wait to catch some dubs. It's going to be a very hard match, so at this point, it's going to come down to how we play when we get on stage. I want to beat NRG so badly uh, because, you know, we, do, we not only represent Central Gaming, but also the, the region as a whole. I'm a big to Mina SRG. fan, but I'm going over to SRG. All right. Sorry. I, I mean, no, no, it's respectable. It's respectable. You, you, you Gaming is always a, a in there. Team. Whenever you see someone predict yeah. against North America, you suddenly seem like it's a, <laughs> yeah. it's a dig against it's you like a person. Part, right, right. It's like, it's like <laughs> he's, he's not a party, but I respect it. I, I genuinely respect it. This is a tough one. Even for me, the, you know, I'm, I watch the general NRG all the time, like to the point where I call them the general. I don't have to call them that. <laughs> I, I end <laughs> up doing it. You. <sighs> you know? I'm gonna need some help. I'm gonna need some help. We gotta call. I gotta call in some help. Is there anyone around <laughs> that can help me make this prediction? Exclamation point! Help. Uh, oh, Daz, can you hear me, Daz? Yeah, I, I hear you, must. <laughs> I hear you. Yeah, uh, North America. You know they're looking good now. There are only two teams left, and I gotta love my boys at NRG. But right. I saw a YouTube video about Sandrock on the <laughs> <community laughs> page. It was a really good video. Yeah. Going Sandrock on this one. Going. Oh! Oh! Musty, are, are you are you you all right, sir? Oh, well, thank, uh, uh, thank you, Musty. I appreciate it. Uh, um, okay, we're doing it. I'm, I'm all in, I guess. Let's go. Let's get into the final quarterfinals. Uh, Shogun, you speak for all of us here. Fans of, of great Rocket League, fans of teams that are, I think, some of the most popular in the world as well. Welcome to the most hype match of the day, in my opinion. Although. You know, everybody knew that already. And I think we all saw that YouTube video by <laughs> Sunless Khan, so it's tough not to root against Ooh. Sandrock, but Justin, Dad said he's the person to rely on for NRG, and he gets a hot start. They've been waiting to play against Justin, and Justin is going to let them know that sometimes your dream should remain only that. Dominant in 50-50s against G2 earlier in the tournament. That's something that NRG have got to look out for. But one thing that we've seen even in the other series is that now that we're on the final stage of this tournament, the playoffs! Oh! Senso shuts me up with a gorgeous goal! If Justin shot was a rocket, this was something even further <laughs> beyond! Senzo makes Garrett merely a spectator! Booming clear from Senzo. Squishy, not the best first touch. Oh. TRK lying in wait. And now it's Samrock Gaming's turn. Well, at least there was oh. temporarily. There's the opportunity. Would have been covered nonetheless by Senzo. Minute and a half gone. What a great first game this has been. And it has only been the first game. You just wonder who's going to have that huge moment. Here's Garchi. Simple shot saved by Ahmad. You gotta go simple sometimes. Now it's Senzo's turn. He's looking at one defender. Oh. Well done from the man on the recovery. Demoing him from behind, helping out his goalkeeper. Uncanny speed still. That save from Ahmad. He was up so quick. He might have even pre jumped that, reading where that shot was coming in. The SRG defense on the goal line is sustaining all this pressure from NRG, who's had a majority of the possession, but still so closely matched. And now a chance for Senzo. Gonna be shut down. Justin, he's got targets downfield. Goes underneath oh, TRK. Justin Ahmed is all by himself. Oh, oh, the man, oh, where's the follow? Oh, there it is. Garrett G gives it RG. Game number one. In a field full of all-stars, Justin. First to pop off. 
Stenzel had to expect the double tap there from Justin. Make, well, really a triple if you think about the air dribble as well. But it was actually Garrett following up with the top left finish that gives NRG the win. Oh, team bump. Garrett, if he had any more boost, he still might be able to make something of this. Drops over to Justin. Wow. And Sagrock Gaming will be disappointed at the lead up to this goal. Yeah, it looks like Ama just wasn't paying attention to his teammate's position. TRK completely out boost. Tried to roll the ball up the back wall. It bounces off, and that's all NRG needed. But for Sandrock, what we're seeing is some really... They're trying to go fast, Ooh. but it's coming off a bit panicked. And you can see it even on defense to go. And Justin will get another one for NRG. Justin really on form today. He's in the right position. It's that predator instinct. Arriving at the right time. Picks his spot as well. Ahmad, he had a brilliant save earlier on in the tournament. But I know even he can get around that. I have seen from Samrock where it really looked a bit toothless in offense. That was the first one where NRG had times where they were under pressure, but no real goal-scoring opportunities. Oh, big chance Justin. here for Justin. Oh. He's really been on form today, and you know, Tazarin pointed him out as perhaps you know a, a, a player who can just dominate the series, which I'm sure everyone would agree with, but also a player that you're not really sure of this event. Now here is Garrett G. Oh, Drop him oh, in. What a save in DRK. Senzo's got to be fast, and he is. Oh, man, how much boost has he got left? He's also went up. That's the well, shot, oh, there oh, is dude. the goal. Well, I mean, you can't blame Sandrock for trying. Look at that first effort blocking out the shot, but then that touch wow. from Squishy. Yeah, you know, it doesn't get any better than that from NRG. Also, they're doing a phenomenal job handling the solo plays. And NRG, this is them in championship form. All these players have won a world championship. Garrett and Justin. Oh, hold Whoa. on, Senzo sneaking this one in under the bar. That is so much better from Sanrock. And deft as you like. Oh my. Senzo didn't need to put it behind Squishy. Actually, I think he did. Squishy still seemed to have it covered. They need to do so much more here. NRG still backing off consistently. Sanrock need to be careful not to overextend, but NRG, look at them just looking for the oh, 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 what a bump! Oh. Ahmad gets a second for Sanrock. That bump, let's take another look at it, Garrett. Thinking he's gonna have a chance. No oh. way! Ahmad from the sky launching it down. Well, if you're sick of the goal line defense, be sure that there is. Chance for Garrett G. Goes high. Here's the follow up. Wow. Denied by Sandra. Oh, Senzo being able to get up and block out the angle. He couldn't get a touch on the ball, but he blocked out the angle. However, NRG oh. not done yet. Squishy trying to get another setup. Senzo again! Clock in the <laughs> lane! Now that we have a shot, it's in! Two each! And Justin will do what took NRG oh so very long to accomplish. That was valiant by SRG, but well struck by Justin. Predicting the pre-jump, something Sandrocker very known for in defense. Instead, this is the one that he wants. One gone. Ooh. Already get the demo on one. That's going to leave it over for TRK. That was dangerous. When you pop in that position, you're potentially leaving your net open. Oh now, after the back one, Senzo! Oh. No <laughs> more pressure anymore. What's a touch? I mean, not like he had many options. NRG still piling on. Oh, what a demo! Squishy takes out the defender right as he's about to save the <laughs> shot. NRG giving Sandrock a taste of their own medicine. Squishy on the prowl, and see you later. That was going to be another save. NRG one game away from the sweep. And even in those last moments, you're seeing how clinical Squishy is with his touches defensively. That time, just trying to get that clock to hit zero. It's chalked. Right. <laughs> it's chalked. That's how they're going to turn this one around. But great to see NRG on form. They have been a bit wishy-washy this weekend, but the form continues. Good oh. start by Sandro Ahmad with a goal steal to go one up again for. Perhaps padding the stats a little bit. <laughs> Senzo coming in, you know. Oh, boo. Yeah, you know, yeah, you take, them. <laughs> you you take know? them. Just take your time. And for me, Johnny, oh, wait a second. That's actually going to be strickling in. And Senzo, oh. well, I'll give him that he knew exactly that one. But, you know, when you look at a game like this, I think the 50-50 game you would typically give to Sam Rock. But what NRG do better is they set the rules for that 50 every wow. single time. You are playing into well them, played. and Squishy is playing NRG towards that semi-finals. Look at the formation from NRG. Squishy at the back post, denying the clear. TRK hitting a bit too far out into the middle, and there's absolutely no way the Squishy's going to miss from there. Senzo with a clear. Nobody to aim for. He just wants to try and chase it down. Finally, a little bit of breathing room for Sanrock. Ahmad to TRK. 
Garrett G sniping the ball out of mid air. Not allowing anything to develop for Samrock Gaming. Oh my, Justin. Being able to keep control of the ball like this when you've got people pre-jumping you miles ahead is simply unreal. He really is on form at the moment. And another thing NRG have done so well is adapting to the Dutchess. Justin gets another one for them. 2-1 to the general NRG. Garrett forcing a bad touch. And Justin beating Ahmed, who's trying to turn around and get in the way of the ball. TRK. Spot Senzo tries to get there. Oh! And Squishy oh. has been unbelievable this series. Once again, far too big to get past. What a save. Now, 33 seconds for Sandrock. They've created chances. They haven't taken any of them. NRG are denying them again and again. Now here's CRK. He walks it in. Sandrock tie the game. And you can see Justin trying to work with low boost. He side flipped to the wall, trying to get another challenge on it. But TRK sniffing out the defense nicely, picking it apart to send us to overtime. Sandrock Gaming, hold on. NRG still want that sweep. They do not want to give Sandrock any foothold in the series. You know this is a dangerous team. We saw it from Complexity earlier against BDS, starting the comeback. NRG don't want any of that. Oh, a nice set. But Senzo will clear it out. Senzo trying to be a hero. Pass out! Oh, going to be slightly off target. Ooh. Ahmad, now tasked with keeping the pressure on. He's got no support for the time being. He's just going to try and buy his team time. Get them back in position. Here's the shot. Going to be high. First one to it. TRK. Ahmad, next up on the plate. NRG turning wisely when they can, when they've got chances. Trying to keep the pressure on Sandrock, who haven't had the best clears in this game. That's what NRG are looking for. TRK leaves it. Senzo, unable to guide the ball past Garrett. Looking for the chance here instead. Testing TRK, who does pass with flying colors. Senzo, has the ball go underneath him. Now the transition from Squishy. Oh, this could be it. TRK has to get a good stop. Rebound will come out. Oh, backboard denied wonderfully by TRK. That is a big boom in the sh You saw him on there wanting <laughs> to take that shot. Yeah, Squishy knew better than to let him have one. Garrett looked like he was lining up so much momentum for that 50, but it's sent back the other way. Sandrock providing resilience in the last stand. I just saw our entire desk just lean back like a gust of wind had caught them off guard. Closer and closer. Could be edging towards the end of this series. Good pinch from Senzo. Everybody from the General NRG are back in position. Not the best touch from Ahmad. TRK. Gonna just chase down. Needs to keep this one going. He's done exactly that. Not only was that a tough read, but to get that second touch after boosting out, that was massive to buy more time for Sandrock. TRK. Midfield, Ahmad does win the chase. Okay, leaving it is Justin Garrett by himself. You can see the swarm of blue around him. Oh! Open net and TRK <laughs> will be so happy to see that in. Oh, the grin on TRK's face. That's that, that roll into the open net. That must have been the most nervous open net he's ever had to hit, <laughs> but he, he put it safely down the middle, as you always should. Sandrock Gaming put one on the board. Small but vital win for Sandrock Gaming. It's going to slow NRG down in the long run. Well, I mean, you know, Senzo knows there's no point throwing himself at a wild block from that range. You might as well drive ahead demo. A big chance for SRG. Ama oh. denied by Squishy. Another follow-up shot from TRK. And that one will make it 1-0. Oh, and things are starting to get interesting. Sandrock awake in a weak shot. And that was just what you said, Johnny. I just think... throw a shot in, force the rebound, and a quality goal. Well, you know, Senzo's a regular and a longtime subscriber to another famous Rocket League player, Jesse. And he must have thought that's so what he's up against there. <laughs> it's not, not a squishy <laughs> thing to do to save his own shot. 45 seconds left. Sandrock trying to hold oh, on. Oh, Senzo, why? Open net, and in it goes. Of all of the hits Senzo could have got, this was the very oh. worst of them. And he had to react quickly because Justin the speedy boy, again, being a thorn in the sign of Sand Rock Gaming. Not going to get one this time against NRG. Another overtime and another chance for NRG to clutch that semi-final spot. But Sand Rock, they've seen NRG bleed. They know they can be beaten. Ooh. And you see the bloodbath out on the field. Demos from Squishy. He's been aggressive 
Will that be the difference maker? Well, they see, they said they seen them bleed. They also just saw their life talk fly before their eyes. <laughs> that was not what Sanro wanted to see. So late our NRG moving into this ball. Senzo, pass to himself. Doesn't oh, wow. get too much more, but this might be the position. Who's there first? Again, Sanrock, they do not want to commit in those positions. Feels like their play that they want is a little bit cleaner than what they're getting. They have to invest so much just to create a chance. No one's there to finish it very often. NRG defending oh, no. brilliantly. Justin oh, you don't want to see him. It. And Ahmad reads the fake very well. Comes back down. Garrett lands on his own touch here. Ahmad, ceiling double out of defense. Happy to use mechanical plays to get the ball out of that end of the field as well. Big chance for Garrett G again. Senzo's on the backboard, waits for the bounce. Confidence for SRG still. And a bit too long of a clear there from Senzo. Boom ball back and forth. A lot of times you see that happening when neither team wants to be that first one to take a risk. Garrett takes a shot oh! almost in. Again, Sanrock barely escaping with their tournament lives. Ahmad called into action. Far side pass, nobody around from Sanrock. You can see how this situation is starting to get oh. them. They don't want to go for it all the time. Oh! Oh! Has got a hold of the second game. We, ladies and gentlemen, have got ourselves a real quarterfinal on our hands. TRK, remember the name. Sandrock take two straight in OT. And suddenly, a series that looked inevitable for NRG is in the balance. Hits the ball away. NRG are just clearing at the moment. Waiting for that big pass into the middle. There it is. Squishy. Oh, what a save. TRK pops it to the corner as well. Of course it's TRK. It's always TRK. The man has got no bounds to the saves that he can create. Yeah. And Sandrock <laughs> Gaming maintain 0-0. No -no. And I blinked and I missed it. We've got a minute left. Oh. Maybe TRK can provide oh. the goal that they need. Up comes another shot. Pay to the other side. But you can see there's blue cards everywhere. Oh, oh my goodness. Center. Everybody's gone. Ahmad, oh, he's got the time to set up. Can he find it? No. Garrett is back on the field. Oh. But this is unrelenting from Sanro. NRG on the back foot. They're holding on. That's a brilliant 50 by Justin. Buying NRG some time. This has been devastating for NRG. Low boost. Trying to survive that double demo, which has resulted in all this position and power. And now a mid-air oh. pass attempt. The pre-jump gonna give NRG a chance. Squishy, oh, oh. oh. but not by another. Still the attack going on. TRK has to get a good hit. Oh. How confident oh is TRK goodness. every single time? He let the ball bounce down before taking it. Oh. Here's the shot oh. Ahmad taking time as well. How much boost can Sanro Gaming hold on to? Now they're the ones feeling the pressure. They don't want to go the easy way. Another OT is just seconds away. NRG oh. coming in. Rebecca wide open. There's a shot. Oh. Justin with three seconds left. He's that guy. Justin with a big time goal. NRG. How many times do they have to do it? Now look out for the Sandra kickoff strats. They've got many in their back pocket. What's it gonna be? Let's take a look then. Three seconds, two seconds, one second. Senzo has to avoid being hit. He's still being hunted down. TRK provides the assist. Can they keep this alive Ooh. now? Still in the air, but there it is. Huge dunk for NRG. He finishes the series. That was a lot closer than I think it looked two games ago. NRG guaranteed the <laughs> NA versus EU Grand Final. Wow, Speechless. Gaming was oh, down. Man. They did not make that easy for NRG. We are definitely a, a different team uh, from the first time we faced them. I think we've adapted more to like the, the very physical gameplay. It's important for us to win against NRG so we can show that we're the best in North America. To be honest, going into this match, of course, I want to be in the final, trying to beat EU, but if FaZe is the better team, I want the best best NA team on the day uh, representing NA. I'm confident that we will beat NRG. In terms of just play style and, and how we've adapted over the, the course of the season, I think we're going to match up a lot better than we did in the past. First real chance of the game for NRG. Maybe getting a bit jumpy on offense, but they do retain possession. Squishy in front actually loses the ball. Hard pass over to AJ. Oh, Back to first killer. Plays it slow. And around the first off the crossbar. The ball's still hanging around from the box. Another bump for first killer, but Gary G gets the clear. Close call for NRG to be sure, but gonna have to expect a little more. Oh Almost my. converted <laughs> by Illusion. Soft floater across the net, and the bump on Squishy is gonna take him off. 
It's just been back and forth for FaZe Clan. You can see they're taking shots every single angle. You get presented one opportunity and then rotate back in to get another one. And this has been FaZe Clan just onslaughting all these shots for NRG's defense. This good win in FaZe's third to get them back to the blue half. Some time here for NRG, but they can't wait too long. Squishy gets a hard win. Just and there's Justin downfield already! Look at this massive clear here from NRG. I believe it was Squishy. He got under the ball, absolutely dusted that defender, and Justin is cherry picking all the way down the field. It's a free shot for him. Big goal for NRG. They had a couple of chances early, couldn't convert. They're finally on the board. Justin on the kickoff, back over to Garrett. Playing a hard kick over to what Justin, and the yeah. shot denied by First Killer, but here comes Squishy! Yeah. NRG have the lead! You felt that one was gonna come out, like you said, Turtle. What a pass is right from Garrett G. It just absolutely freezes First Killer, forces him to stop that rotation mm -hmm. to the net, has to defend the potential to put it on target, or think maybe I can go and get the bounce, and that's why he hits the break. FaZe Clan, pretty flat on offense. I mean, the first game against Endpoint, they were hitting him with some of the quickest passes I think we've seen all tournament long. That's how I fizzled out a bit, and NRG with massive clears. I'm taking out on an air dribble, waste a little extra time, make sure again they get ready for FaZe coming at them. And that play actually started from the white right side of the wall, oh, and then what? again in the corner, FaZe Clan come alive! Where were NRG? That is a great question. Okay, there's two. There's Justin. They both double committed in the midfield, and Justin oh, just can't man. get the challenge. I, I understand the logic of him wanting to go for it. And they try to make use of it. Unfortunately for them, they don't get a shot on net. It looked threatening, but Garrett G, along with the NRG squad, do hold on. And you do find yourself in kind of an interesting position here. Oh! Oh, AJ oh. with the big muscles on that one! How did he squeeze through this? I don't understand the follow-up. I didn't even get a flip reset. This man just held down the oh boost and it worked. <laughs> FaZe Clan bounced back so easily here. They haven't even lost a game one yet in their series. They just lost to NRG the first time. And then they bounce back in a wonderful way. Haven't even let one in. Oh! Oh! Justin oh. got the double tap! It looked a little bit awkward at first, but he made the most of it, getting NRG on the board. Ask and you shall receive. I was waiting for it. I asked <laughs> for it. Let one in yet. Well, this time, Justin's got a little extra space to work with, and what a touch oh, on the man. backboard. Phase. Gonna stop the NRG attack. This kickoff. First killer tries to protect the rock, but he lost it! Oh, Justin gets two! Devastating here for the defense. You see first killer, he's trying to get that soft lip so he can take what? it out on an air dribble. Oh, it comes man. down just a little low on the car, goes out real flat so he can't get behind. NRG have certainly looked like they were in championship form against Sandrock, and while there's been some tough sequences at times on defense, able to battle back get the tying goal. Now oh, Garrett G, pressure. big up from Justin! NRG, three unanswered! Cleared so much space here on this push up the pitch. Justin gets into the corner, forces wow. AJ to make a touch, and immediately cuts towards the goal line to put the pressure on the goalies. They both have to dodge yeah. him. Mm -hmm. It's been, we've got one strong push up the field, and we've converted it. Yeah. And FaZe, with a minute here, very likely they can find themselves pushing the find and equalize. It's been big misses from both sides. We saw first first killer earlier, but then a, a couple a couple of missed touches wait, from NRG wait, as well. But wait, hang on in the front, look at AJ, go! FaZe Clan tie it up! It looked like this was an initial fake. You can see AJ took this ball into the air, got the flip reset. Oh, has Justin to. has to respect <laughs> it, and AJ broke everybody's axle. Now, Jorby, I talked a lot about the indicators for NRG and what you need to expect, what you need to look for to know they're doing well on the pitch. It's the same for AJ on the other side, the shooting percentage. <laughs> Speaking of shooting percentage and accuracy, this one from Squishy in the corner. You simply cannot doubt Squishy this weekend. He has been popping off for NRG. He steals the ball away in the corner oh. and hits the wide angle banger. NRG will take Forbidden Temple. They were just so passive at the end. You saw Gary G on his perspective. He was staying in net, waiting. He was even getting harassed, but he didn't care. He had boost. He could remain in the net, keep it slow, and make sure they secure this one, closing it out two to nothing in the series. Absolutely. I think you're going to have a little time here. This one's going to get <laughs> yeah. jammed in the corner. We've got four minutes. Might as well go on. But AJ, he is the indicator <laughs> for FaZe Clan. <laughs> There's so many 50-50s. If AJ is striking well and the shooting percentage is up for him, that is when FaZe Clan are, are, are at their best against Endpoint. He was shooting, I believe, 40% shooting Ooh. accuracy. Every time I talk about accuracy, Squishy comes in and it's a nailer. Oh, this is big from NRG. Pick getting the big bump, Justin oh, takes first killer out of the play, and Illusion tried Ooh. to recover, but that shot was just too well placed. And that was a tough pass to defend. FaZe will keep possession. 
But can they get another quality opportunity? There's a tight rotation. Jeez. And Squishy and Garrett work to keep that ball away. Illusion, he lets the wall drop first. Killer wide Whoa. on the post and into the net. Uh, you got a little worried here. You're thinking, man, NRG is having to work real hard to get around all this pressure. And then finally a window. And you're thinking, oh, no. But you can only go so far and be unlucky. They were going to figure out a way to get the save from NRG. But face then, they have the recovery. The rotation comes through. But oh, you're oh, already yeah. got oh, yeah. this NRG offense to deal with. With. Oh, FaZe, they had a good pass, but NRG says they could do one a little better. Look at this pass from Squishy to Justin. It's not even fair. I mean, if Squishy takes that shot, almost certainly gets saved. Loader and good save from Illusion. But now here's your question for FaZe. There you go. You need that nice, strong clear. There it is. There it is. Hold onto it here. You have to find a way to keep NRG locked into their own half. Oh, that oh. ball off the post and in! AJ delivers for FaZe! AJ, you madman! The 50-50 absolutely demolished the defender, and then wow, AJ, the shot. shooting accuracy. Oh, gosh. I don't even know how you get around that ball that far. Show a crack in their armor, but it doesn't work out. Potential for overtime here for FaZe, and this is a real chance to make a big difference. That pass slightly Ooh. behind Garrett G. There's Ooh. the demo! Forget OT! Make him work for it! FaZe trying to send everybody at this ball, and they get punished for it! Both Illusion and AJ Ooh. go! First killer gets deleted! And NRG take the lead! There's just so many moving parts to that play. But a match point! This shouldn't be happening! AJ looks insane! Did we see the shot that he had? How do NRG keep on pulling off these close wins with barely any few seconds left? NRG are really trying to one-up that other semifinal performance to really make you think about who's going oh, to win that ball wow. or win that. But first killer, he's got something go. to say. This match is not over. Uh, let him cook him, why don't you? Illusion, that's a great challenge. And first killer, such a good understanding of where that play was developing, mm -hmm. cutting out nice and early to the right, and then just turns it into a nice little quick yeah. pop. I saw it <laughs> happening. I saw it happening 100%. Gary G, the shot was there. But fortunately, FaZe Clan, the defense has found their footing level of speed you cannot intercept it oh we got it for free okay and i'm so glad aj's deep back there i was like so surprised to see phase just let justin continue to push Ooh. and that's gonna find its way into the back of the net for first killer and nrg pull off on this play it's a great pop from first killer what is Here that she's <laughs> racing back to net <laughs> that flick from first killer went straight to the ceiling there was like no accuracy he just said i'm gonna i'm gonna flip this as hard as i possibly can and hope something works out then you get the fake from i believe it was aj in the midfield and nrg have to respect it Another good start for FaZe. Ooh. Oh, and now oh, 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 wipe that oh. good start away. Squishy right off the kickoff. What? Okay, so first killer gets his own touch off the ceiling. Squishy says, yeah, I'd do it too, but I'd make it a little easier. This was a little killer, easier. He got greedy. He, uh, I don't discredit what first killer was trying to do there, but it definitely was a risky play. Squishy, a little bit of space. NRG pushing forward and have to let that one drop. AJ back over to first oh, killer downfield in traffic. It. He's got the goal. All on Garrett G here going for this challenge in the corner and he just doesn't have the right read. The transition comes too quick and Squishy's thinking, oh, this is going to be hard. And you can already wow. tell from the line from first killers taking that ball with the smash off the backboard. I just don't think he got the power mm. behind it. Here's Justin. Trying to create an opportunity for NRG. Garrett gets a free look. That bump put both phase players on the back wall, both Illusion and First Killer. Big. Justin. Oh, what a fake. Big 50 in front yep. for Justin. Hard shot from Squishy. <laughs> they do no this. chance at a save. <laughs> they do this so often. NRG know how to be selfless, know when to go for the 50-50, and know how to set each other up for success. What are you supposed to do there as First Killer? Uh, just jump and pray for First Killer. In phase, they've been able to respond a couple of times now to NRG. But... The longer wow, the series goes, the more what America it feels like. What and on NRG earth? top slot, top slot, this, top slot. This is ridiculous. The 50-50s have shifted. The roles have been reversed. NRG, they're winning every challenge. Oh man! And first killer, he's not really playing that too poorly, to be honest. Now's the time to convert. Now's where you send the house. You need everyone to step up here for phase. Any kind of opportunity, anything you can do to break past this NRG defense, they need to try it. Something has to break this NRG Ooh. line. Pass it front and a big demo from First Killer. Can they get the transition? though? No. Not the best touch. First Killer will make the most of it off the ceiling. And Garrett G is going to take it. Oh, Squishy wait. so fast up oh, to the no. ball. Oh, He's got no. the first touch. Squishy. He's got the second touch. Squishy Muffin puts NRG up by two. The last thing 
that you want to do is give Squishy Muffins on land some space off the backboard because he's going to make you look silly. Good feel it coming. 15 seconds for FaZe. They need to score with time left. Garrett G up high again. First killer. Got him out of the way, but it's a big clear and more time off the clock for NRG. They can do a victory lap. The time off the oh, clock. No, the no. ball in the net. Why NRG not? to the grand final. You had to put him down. Finish it with an exclamation <laughs> point. You can't go in the montage. There was one second on the clock. But honestly, oh what a series from NRG Turtle. I mean, it's just been a roller coaster of emotions. We, If we want to look at the history so far in this tournament for NRG, they started off in horrible shape, but they bounce back and they do it in style. We got the bracket. This is how the teams got here. You see the three spots after that wow. final there. They had to win two best of seven. So get your marathon shoes on. We're heading in. It's time to meet BDS. Feels great to be in the grand finals. It honestly feels unreal just to play against uh, one of the best team in the world. So. It feels good to be uh, in a LAN since two years, to see everyone, every players, every team that you play against online. Investing in and nobody got the touch! And at what point do you not blame Mark Baye? Could you expect Justin of all oh. players to get the touch? And there he is to find contact. Monkey, Monkey Moon, he's been Monkey doing it all game. Oh. Double tap. The games were very intense. Uh, a lot of matches, a lot of uh, stress. And uh, yeah, they, they were good games. I think we found uh, a great motivation during this major as a team. So uh, we are definitely happy with the result. I'm just also very happy to, to play NRG in the finals. It's kind of like a dream coming true, like playing the best of the best in the finals. I think it's very good to have uh, EU versus NA finals. Everyone is waiting for it, so I think it's going to be a good match. It feels amazing to be in the finals. It's been so long since we've had a LAN, and you know, two years, and the first one back, we ended up making it this far. It's just something that you can't even explain. It's just a, a great feeling of excitement. competition has surprised me a lot. We had to adjust after our first few matches and it feels like we've caught up, uh, but the level is, is the highest it's ever been for sure. I feel like our, our journey was honestly the weirdest one I've ever had at Atlanta. In the beginning it was a little bit shaky for three of the best land players that have ever played this game. It's you know not expected. So the experience didn't play as much of a factor as we thought it would. So I think that it's just been an odd experience, but it's something that we have to kind of ease back into and we've done a good job at that. Facing off against BDS is something that my whole team has wanted for a while. I think we wanted to play them on no ping in a really hype matchup like this. You know, if they made the finals, they're definitely the best representative for Europe, and I think we're definitely the best right now in NA. NRG are clicking like a well-oiled machine right now. And it's NRG putting it in the back of the net! Our first time versus BDS wasn't wasn't so hot, so hopefully we can surprise them this time and, uh, and take them in the finals, so we're going to give it our all. And they hold on, BDS, they have had some good chances. You even saw that pass opportunity to extra out in the middle. The pass barely didn't come. A few shot chances where we didn't see BDS connect. Will that hop oh! up? Yes, it will! Justin continues to haunt the dreams of every opponent he faces in OT. Does this remind you of anything, James? <laughs> or is that the goal that won NRG their world championship? Justin, always the threat, waiting downfield, and he receives the pass required to give NRG game number one. Wow, it's just scripted. This whole land seems scripted. We've got the Dream Guys Grand Final. It's oh. the same shot. I was thinking the same thing. This is, I've seen this before. Garrett denies Monkey Moon the corner rebound. NRG's defense is completely solid at the moment. BDS unable to find a way through. Justin, straight over to Monkey Moon. That's a good clear. Mark by eight shows his own Justin impression of second in midfield. Now it's Monkey Moon! Oh. Top corner! And there you have it, Monkey Moon getting started. And that is a much needed goal and a beautiful setup 
from Mark by eight, putting that bounce off the ceiling. What a finish as well. Another chance for NRG. Awkward for BDS. Mark's going to try and just get behind this ball. He's done well there. Squishy's actually in reverse as well. It's, and now suddenly it's a difficult position for NRG to handle. They've got to control this. Everybody on the back foot there. Mark is going to drop dangerously. Monkey Moon doubles up. They have not controlled it. They needed to get somebody round to the back post here. But look, they're all at the near post. They're all stuck in one position. And when it comes across, Squishy's just not able to defend that angle. Squishy, self-set, wants to see if Monkey Moon will make a mistake. And also don't expect me to say Monkey Moon's made a mistake all too often. And this whole game has been NRG just being a bit off, even going back to that Garrett G read off the backboard. Squishy slow out in net, and now Monkey Moon putting in another, getting a hat trick. What a game for BDS, what a response. I'm so impressed by the regain ability of all these playoff teams. We saw FaZe do it against Endpoint. We actually saw Endpoint do it against FaZe as well. RLCS Season X, they just kept going, but they haven't had a win yet this season. And you know they want to avoid that storyline that when it really matters, BDS crumbles after winning every RLCS X Major, falling in the championship to Vitality. Now they're going to there give one is. up here, but still have quite the padding. Yeah, you can see the 2v1 situation develop very quickly. Squishy charging down. Monkey Moon had to make a decision. Does he want to try and cover the infield pass, or did he think Justin was going to take the shot? You know, re regain in the next game, but at least they'll have that one to point back to, saying we can break down this BDS team. And maybe we'll see some fireworks. Another shot coming in. Awkward save. Rebound out. Oh! And it's going to be just enough. Do you believe? 11 seconds on the clock. A roar from our talent in the studio. We've almost got a packed <laughs> house over there. And they are watching what all of you at home are watching. 11 seconds and NRG, well, they've got a bit of a history of this sort of situation. That's a back right kickoff for NRG. Oh, Justin's there. Oh, the bump too. They've executed it well, but Justin's first touch sends him to the sidewall. That's going to waste a lot of time. It's in field. NRG unable to get the goal, but it's still in the air. Mark, no boost. The 50's good and BDS survived, but that went from a comfortable win to a bit Ooh. of a scary ending for BDS and, and NRG, that is what you want. Really, when you look at these two teams, I don't think that's the, what's happening here. Well, how often do we say that? We, we had to cast so many BDS Grand Finals and so often do we come out thinking, Oh, hey, the other team just didn't show up. Ooh. BDS are so oh, good wow. at making you look slow. Mark by eight has got the pace. And this is how the last game started. BDS whittling down the defense. That one off the post. Oh. And even a strange bounce there. You saw that hit the post coming straight out. Have shown it's just a crazy level of shot stopping ability this event. But BDS are hitting them with the sheer volume of shots. And at some point, it doesn't matter how good you are at saving. Oh, hold on a second. That's a miss from BDS. Jazz for NRG. Oh, oh how did by... you keep that out? Falling goalkeeper gets in the way. There is no chance you could ever see that coming. Jump, hope, save, acquired. And to the oh! other side. Heartbreaker for NRG. Unbelievable. BDS, the goal line stop. And Mark. Reading that off the backboard, again, Squishy coming up just short. This BDS team after game one have come alive. BDS, you know, their defense has been looking good, but overall, Shogun, the amount of time they've spent in NRG's half, has it's been impressive. I was expecting NRG to be able to bring out a bit more offense so far, even in their game win. BDS had a lot of the momentum. This is where the experience of NRG is going to need to come in big as that's the set. And there's well no played. chance. Extra a valiant attempt, but nowhere near it. With that last touch by Justin is impossible to predict. Look at that popping it past Monkey Moon. And Squishy is there. You need to be. Second man has to be there, especially final minute. Energy still behind by one. But once again, just like the last game, they are making a comeback. Squishy with time as well. There's the oh! oh! There is the equalizer. Uh, and, 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 and I'm having a bit of trouble reading whose name was this, but I'm going to guess. What, was it Justin? Oh, it's Justin. Of course <laughs> it's Justin. I can't believe it's Justin. I can because he continues to do it over and over again. Then we've got overtime. The second overtime. Would you have it? Any other way. Team BDS and the General NRG just as fairly matched as we were hoping they were going to be. Now Justin puts Squishy under a bit of pressure, but Squishy does not fold under it. 
Mark by eight. That's good for his team. This is where BDS are so good at stealing that boost, putting your team in bad spots. But equally, James, we know just oh! to reach it! Oh! Extra has got BDS a 2-1 lead. Extra to himself up the sidewall. Garrett G in no man's land. And BDS take two straight. At this point, you've got to be thinking, is it time for that timeout? I have no doubt that NRG can bounce back mentally, but it's all BDS when we talk about the pressure in these games. And BDS have got to be asking themselves, why can't this just be easy? We're <laughs> up by three last time, we're up by two this time around, and still, the General RG are putting that pressure on. Go for it in offense. They've got to go sooner, because they look fantastic when they get into the other team's half, and they start challenging earlier, following up each other's passes. And especially Justin in the corners and along the sidewall. We've been seeing him in those dribble positions, faking out defenders, making chances, and he does it again! Justin is a difference maker. If you're new to Rocket League Esports, well, you know it more than anyone else just yet. So much respect whenever he gets on the ball, and when he hits it that clean, guess what? You have to give him that respect. And, he, and now another chance. What will he do? It's great defense. Mark, doing what BDS failed to do on the first play there, closing down Justin. You cannot give him any chances, and immediately they score! Extra, once again, what a grand final he's having. I watched Extra's face after that goal went in. Nothing. Stead <laughs> ahead, they've got a job that they've got to do. A roar from them, nothing else, because they know that NRG are going to be so difficult to break down. But one each that quickly, that's huge. And we've now seen every player from Team BDS have their moment. Will that be enough for them to oh, hit it into the next gear? My. It seems so. Mark by eight gets there way before energy. We're expecting him. I mean, they're probably thinking, okay, when's he going to be here? Eight? Change his name to seven. Onliners? Nah. BDS are everywhere. Online, offline, and all over Utopia. Outpacing NRG. And James, you made mention of it. These slow starts are the end of NRG uh, at the moment. They've got to figure this out. Both teams are fighting with their demons here. That's a double commit, squishy. With options, that option is Justin. Tends to be the best option in Rocket League. But again, BDS have decided no more of this infield. They are just gonna wow. outpace everybody, oh and Extra my. has got a goal. It's just crazy, BDS every single time. They're just spotting the openings on the backboard, wherever it is, forcing bad saves, and look at the timing of the arrival for Extra. Flip reset from Monkey Moon. Garrett G able to just guide the ball away from him. NRG have had numerous opportunities for the infield pass. They have been aiming for it as well. Sam had the pace, marked by eight. He's got Whoa! Garrett bullied, and no chance to recover in time. And marked by eight, he hit a crazy shot against FaZe in the corner. Now Monkey <laughs> Moon does it. Look at this angle. You don't even see the defender, Garrett, looking through that transparent post, yeah. expecting to be able to block it. They're going to need something. They need fresh ideas. I know what they've got. It's chalked again. <laughs> It's definitely chalk this time. Oh, it oh, might be! <laughs> Extra! Puts in a double on an undefended net. 3-0. NRG have got a long way back. Extra using up the boost. No doubt in his mind whatsoever where that ball was going to be bouncing. I've never seen extra like this. This is ridiculous. Does, does this feel... Uh, we used to talk all the time last season, Johnny, when we got through you know, so many of the grand finals that BDS won. And I'd always describe it to you the same way. It felt <laughs> like the other team that they were playing against started off well. Okay. Okay. And then. Okay. And then it <laughs> felt, as I was going to and then it felt like the other team got broken partway through. <laughs> NRG. Well. Not wanting to be broken just yet. But BDS see it just as well as they do. Always available for oh it. My. And that's such a crucial block from Monkey Moon. Interception after interception. Look at the play in the middle of the box by Monkey Moon. NRG need a goal now. Oh, and they get they one. Get it. It's always the same from NRG. Nothing comes easy for them. Nothing goes easy against them. Ooh. Seven seconds for one goal. And you see Garrett didn't even... He didn't flip there. He completely psyched out the defense, waiting until the... Letting that ball really come to him. Garrett sets up. Has he got anyone around? It's off the wall. Who's there first? There is Squishy off the backboard one more time. Oh. Follow up. Nobody oh. there. BDS have got the first set. Wow, BDS, takedown NRG in style. 
They are halfway there. Like I said, 4-1. Double T the other side of the field, Squishy. Unable to outpace. This started off a little bit more BDS pace, but NRG, they're being dragged into the firefight yet again. Starting to feel like that Wasteland game. Mark Bay, oh, over to wow. Extra! They were in a firefight, and guess who's got more ammunition? That is just insane. BDS, find a way through. That time the crossbar bounce works for them, and impenetrable defense. But my goodness, did NRG try. Once again, it's just too little too late. Are BDS a step too far, or can the general get them back in? And that question, Shogun, that's about to be answered. We're closing in on what could wow. be the final series, and it just might be with Monkey Moon opening things up with a goal. They just don't get it wrong. Every single time the ball comes to the near post, the timing is impeccable. There is Justin. Yeah, what a save by Justin it was. He's in a 1v2 there. Mark really slamming the ball into the backboard as hard as he can. Speaking of, oh my goodness, it's denied. What a play. NRG connecting it in the final third. But now we're right away to the other end. It's Monkey Moon. He scores. Just like that. One end to the other. BDS double up on NRG. Monkey Moon tore the tires loose from NRG. This is just unreal to see from BDS. Even the biggest fan of EU, even the biggest fan of BDS, cannot possibly have imagined the series to be so one-sided. NRG need to do something, and they need to do it as soon as possible. Oh, there's another block up, go Squishy! Oh! Finally, the post will be nice to NRG. Uh, but this is the margins NRG's having to work with. You see Mark by eight in net, Monkey Moon in net, off the post it has to go in, and NRG have some hope. It's for them to get dominated in a grand finals. And BDS are putting a stamp on this so far. Well, you know, they say that you learn the most from your losses. BDS have finally taken some. They didn't really get many of those in RLCS Season X. Really, it might have been the best thing that could have happened to them. They lose and they face the trials and the tribulation. Now they look even better than ever. It's almost the reverse of what we got from them in Season X, where they were peaking all the way through the season when the pressure finally was on for them to get the big win. They dropped off. Mm. Now it's the opposite. They're peaking at the right time. Oh. And Justin needs to peak for NRG. And this is what NRG need. Finally a lead. I don't even remember the last time we had one for NRG. And that is the type of plays it takes. Zero reaction time. Important. And you see the reaction <laughs> from the players on NRG. There it is. Haven't seen that in a while. That is brilliant to see. That's just as important as putting it together on the field. Now here come NRG again. Oh, that's a great save by Extra. Again, deflecting it into the corner. NRG, the smiling assassins, want this series. They refuse to give this up. Justin, oh. how can you do that when you're this up against it? NRG are hunting, desperate for this next goal. They do not want NRG to have this easy. Oh, they won't get what? it easy, but Garrett G can't get them that second goal. Well, just like last series, they are up in the ante here. They're trying to play aggressively. It didn't work in the last series, but they've decided that wasn't a strategical misplay. We just have to execute better. <laughs> and you know, for a moment, I was wondering, is this the fall major finals or is this the fourth Ooh. freestyle event with NRG going crazy and Squishy getting another goal for NRG? They actually think it's chalked, and that's the most dangerous <laughs> thing that's ever happened. NRG smiles everywhere and Greg and keep saying it. When a team is having fun, they are at their most dangerous. NRG, somehow, I don't know how they managed to do it. They are having fun out there. Night and day. All of a sudden, we see something that we have not seen since the very start of this. I feel like game one, okay, we can say that the NRG were putting it together, but since then, and I mean game one of the first series, all BDS, and it's BDS again, but Unlike the other BDS goals, we are seeing NRG react with comms, smiles. They are going to try and stay positive here. Will that be enough against the BDS monster? I, I don't know, because that pass, the lovely finesse from Monkey Moon, setting up Mark by eight. And yeah. But for how long, Shogun? That's the question. Well, hopefully till the end of the series. That's what we all want to see. Yes, hopefully in 10 games time in this series. Yes. Off the backboard. Oh, wow. Justin! This is unbelievable! Garrett sends it straight down the middle of Justin to the double jab training pack. 
Look at the placement with the finishing touch. A long time to go in the game, but NRG back up by two. I said that this was everything BDS have been fighting for for two years, but for NRG, this is Sunday. <laughs> Mark by eight wants to get his team back in this. NRG, is this going to be the most talked about smile of the history of esports? You do wonder, seeing NRG make these adjustments, watching the earlier games, it looked like there was no way to break the code of BDS and somehow NRG have elevated their gameplay and it's no secret Justin has oh! been that code breaker. What a save by Garrett. The last man was demoed. Garrett slotted in, but extra slots the shot. Bottom left, one goal game again. I'm so curious to see this from Garrett's point of view because yes, he was up against it the entire time, but could he have just jumped? No, he couldn't. The bump wow. right there. <laughs> and that took Garrett out of the play. And that's the second time this game we've seen BDS with a cute little pass out to the middle, oh. setting up their teammate. Now will we see a set piece NRG? Oh, I love that they've tried that. That's, that's so smart from NRG. They've been going for the back right, back left kickoffs. Now the fake, switching it up. That's the power of the comms. That's the power of positivity. You've gotten scored on. Well, it's an opportunity. We've got a kickoff to work with now. But NRG fans at home will think, why could this not have been easy? How have we scored three? Ooh, and it isn't going to be in. enough. Two minutes and 12. BDS a level. Look at this, though. Still smiles from NRG. I mean, that defense is not something I'd be smiling about regularly. Yeah, well, be I mean, before, <laughs> before they were laughing, now it's just a smile. And before you know it, it might be something else, Johnny. NRG, even with BDS, BDS with a late surge. Garrett and NRG need this game. It's obviously been all spun and games for them, but we cannot understate that reverse sweep does not happen, and it does not happen at this level. Squishy, flip reset over the top, and Monkey <laughs> Moon helps out extra and gets rid of the ball. You know, it's that early challenge from BDS. That's what's forced Squishy's hand a bit sooner than he wanted. No, Monkey now, Moon, another no. one. Monkey Moon just ran out of boost and couldn't get that final touch on the ball, but a great job energy as well, forcing him to get that last touch, and that makes it so much easier for the goalkeeper. Mark B8. Oh, Whoa! Okay, that's a lot of trust in the crossbar. Oh. Now you've got trust in the top. Squishy. Pops it to the side. Justin didn't get the boost quick enough, but he has got Squishy back in the midfield. Instead, he looks to go by himself. That's going to cause a little bit of disarray for Team BDS. But as always, BDS works so well within that chaos. BDS for boost start there, but Mark runs all the way down, takes NRGs in the meantime. Squishy, looking for the solo play. Doesn't connect with the flick after the reset like he wanted to. Gives BDS a bit of time to get away. Two have jumped here, but BDS recoveries are going to get them out of that problem without any issues just takes one of those plays to line up on the goal line and it will be a scramble for NRG to get there quick enough. We Justin, with Squishy available, isn't there in time, but Garrett keeping the opportunities available to the team. And we've seen the adjustments come out from NRG. They've been released to go for these solo plays. Oh, the wow. Individual oh, efforts. Bounce. Oh. That bounce and now the rebound again handled by BDS. We've seen how BDS steps up to these one-on-one -on -one plays coming out from NRG. NRG fans, your team needs this right now. Off the wall, Mark is the quicker of everybody. Plays into the corner. Is this going to be BDS's opportunity? They've got nobody available to take a shot. So many chances for NRG, none have gone in. And now here come BDS with the last minute push, last second push. Goes middle, bump coming in. It's the Monkey Moon. Shots on target, off the bar and out. How's that in the background? There's another setup. Squishy has to get rid of the ball. Zero seconds. And now we go to overtime. And I know you heard that the scream, scream, Johnny. You can't even see Monkey Moon laughing about it. And his player gives the players. This is one of the most intense moments. BDS moving ahead in this game, winning in overtime. That would all but seal this series. Back into the midfield, Justin takes his time, lines up the opportunity. Can the King of Clutch come Ooh. up for NRG? Monkey Moon turns, wait, he can't get there, needs the help. 50-50s, again doing work for BDS. They're buying so much time for themselves by just forcing the challenge early. Straight to Monkey Moon. 
He will have Mark by eight, just chasing down Garrett. Had to be quick enough. He was more than quick enough. Looks for the block against Extra. That's a nice spot for NIG to find the ball in. Now off the wall. Where's oh. the follow? Blue car swarming around. NRG are trying. They're really attacking that near post. They don't want to give BDS time, but still the goal, goal evades them. Drops down. Squishy. squishy. That 100 boost isn't available now to the team. Garrett. Reset follows up, and Monkey Moon will not fall for any of these traps. They've gone for it over and over again. It was working early, but BDS has caught on to these tactics from NRG. Now the oh! shot, the double commit, it's loose for Extra. Where's the follow? Extra finding the setup. Mark Bay, as always, attacking, pressuring, demoing the defense. But now we go against the other side of the field. Pass back to Garrett. Where is Justin? Oh! Couldn't get there in time. Double tap on the backboard, and the ball pushed over to the corner. NRG going with all three. They're trying everything. They're going out on their shield if they're going to lose this. Monkey Moon tries to make it so. Demo landing by Squishy relieves the pressure. Now NRG on the counterattack. That's a good 50. A bounce will sneak by Justin, but Garrett picking it right back up. Monkey clears back to the midfield. Bump on the back line, but there's still so many players swarming around. One player gone. Justin has to try and take control of this nice and early so they can take advantage of that demo. Midfield, nobody from NRG want to go. Space for NRG now. We decided to back away. Full boost on everybody. The low boost offense. Early cut to the rotation. Did not work. Now they're dropping back, waiting for it. BDS to hit the ball to them. And this game is being played like it is the last one. You know, this is that swing game. NRG have to get it to come oh! back! And they do! Captain America stands up and puts NRG on his shield! NRG are back in this! And not a moment too late. You really feel like that was the game that they must win. NRG have got some ridiculous comeback <laughs> potential, but to get three oh. or four in a row, rather, after losing, I think, seven straight would have been a tough ask. Are they going to start to question themselves? That is the first real question that's going to be asked of them in this series. Ever since they lost that first game, they have been unbeaten by NRG. And now... It's going to be up to the lads over on BDS uh -oh. to answer oh. some questions. And NRG just need to keep pressuring. And that's what we're talking about. Suddenly, Monkey Moon out of position. How often have we been able to say that in this entire set? Just realizing when they're losing a challenge, very nice save there by Mark as well, deflecting the ball towards a teammate. But when they realize they're getting beaten to the ball, they lean back slightly. They turn what was an attempted beat, an attempted 50, into a blocking touch. and. All these deflections, they seem to be going into random directions, but BDS are controlling those. They're hitting it into safe places. And now, center ball comes in. It's still on the goal line. It's a miss from both players. Oh. It fakes out the defender and extra finishes it off. <laughs> you can see more smiles from NRG. It was a panic. You see Squishy side flipping and Garrett. The shot slow and actually throwing him off. That was not the most beautiful goal that we've seen. I think NRG will be questioning, like, why do they go for some of these balls? Usually BDS will just say, because we can. And that is really their motto. Because we can, and all the recoveries are coming in. Another long shot. This time, it is an NRG defender off the line. And it's not only yes, we can, but yes, we will. BDS, they take it. Garage did not see that one coming. Still, all smiles for NRG. They want the comeback. Over to the wall. Pops out. Justin realizes that he's got to play back to his own corner. He'd like this 100 boost to pop up. It's not going to be kind enough to him. Oh, my. Oh, Whoa! what a shot! Whoa! Yes, yes, look around, Justin. He can't believe it. But everybody in the else, well, else in the world knew that when Garrett gets here, <laughs> he's so lethal. 146 KPH. What a screamer by Garrett G. I've ran out of boost in that defensive play. 23 on Squishy, nothing on Justin and Garrett, but pads. They have done well to escape that wrath of BDS. And that backboard read could have ended it right there for BDS. They're giving NRG a chance. Justin, Ooh. rebound out, Squishy. shot, low, and no good. The defense holds strong. Why can't any of these games just be simple? We've got another overtime on our hands. Another one that NRG desperately needs. Oh, that's not the best first oh. touch, though. That's extra oh. for OP. Monkey Moon sets one more time, oh. but NRG will recover. Well, finally, BDS make a mistake in offense. That would have been a goal earlier in the series, but now the crossbar on NRG's team. 
And Gara takes too much time. There's the set! Oh! There's the finish! The ice by Mark! What a play by Monkey Moon. Holds the dodge for as long as possible. Pre-flip to center and Squishy didn't see it coming. And BDS have three championship points. Overtime has proved to be the death of NRG. BDS in a key game. NRG showing life, showing guts in the previous game. Very often you can tell how well a player is playing, how well they're feeling about their play by how clean their touches are. And that was an end-to-end, -end, corner to far corner. Boomer, have a clear by it. Oh, oh a BDS, that's a missile. Garrett G capitalizes on it. BDS looks shaky in the first minute. And it seems almost impossible. Such a long road ahead of NRG, but they've taken the first step. Monkey Moon. Does he want the infield? Oh, he ends up missing it. Who's there first? Garrett. Couldn't get there before Extra, who recovered the play just in time. And now oh it's trickling to oh. all the net. The oh. bounce oh. only for a moment. Extra <laughs> saves his teammate, turns around, and then does the unthinkable. He just shoots. Nobody thought they were going to hit the ball straight at them. Justin couldn't read the bounce, but that's the hardest bounce to read. You don't know if it's going up, left, right, or anywhere and it goes right towards Extra. You saw Extra waiting to the last moment to jump, but he jumped just in time to avoid a demo. Garrett G was coming in, trying to shut that play down, expertly timed from Extra. Drops down. What? Mark! Whoa! Show me a better pass! You're not gonna find one! Take your chance and take it in! <laughs> BDS are looking at the Stockholm Major! Oh, Extra, he never fails to give you more than you ask for. Three minutes, BDS. Three minutes for everything you waited for to come true. NRG want to take it away from them, though. And they've got to start stepping up. Oh, oh NRG, what oh. is that? The turnaround by Garrett just snipes it past. He makes a run down the line here and just beats Extra to the punch. That's the Extra who's been really the difference in this game. Garrett has scored again. And you're 100% right, Johnny. That first game and that last game, this very well could be, and you're seeing how difficult it's gonna be for BDS to put it away. Justin, can't get the ball past Extra, not many can. Squishy, a little bit of a fumble on his own side of the field. Back, it puts BDS right back into prime position to set themselves up, but outpaced for one of the first times that we've seen. Mark always available for the recovery. Monkey Moon takes the shot. Garrett G with Squishy on the far side. He's got two players to aim for, but he can also go by himself should he want to. Squishy takes that option! Oh. Almost found the back of the net! And a worldwide sigh is heard. Garrett trying to find Squishy, guts him. And now everything from NRG is just being thrown forward. What a pass towards Justin. The shot matches it, top left. Upper 90, Justin to keep NRG's hopes in it. They're gonna have to hold BDS off for a minute 50, but this is what NRG have to do. We saw them making the solo plays. That opened up the field, that keeps BDS in net, and it's presenting that midfield option. Which one will NRG take? It doesn't matter, because right now, they're in the home stretch of this one. Have no doubts about it. NRG have been creating their chances. The question has been, can they finish them? Now they've got a lead. How long are they waiting for that? Off the backboard, Garrett! Extra straight in the position he wanted. If that bounced anywhere else, oh, that was what? a two-goal lead. Well, Justin getting fancy with it. That's going to be tough to read, but also tough to execute. And BDS are following up with pressure. NRG able to slow the game down. Now Justin, looking for demos, looking for redirects, any opportunity to make this harder for BDS. Back down to Extra. Realized that the backboard was his only option. Garrett twisting, turning, there is Monkey Moon! Into the oh. net! Do they miss? Rarely. One minute to go, Monkey Moon snipes the bottom corner against two pre-jumping defenders. They all think he's going high. Monkey Moon shoots low. There's that vision, and we've seen that vision over and over from BDS. That lower corner never safe. Squishy thought he had it covered, but Monkey Moon snipes it out. 
And now we've got less than 60 seconds left before yet another overtime. Squishy clears. Can he get the follow-up? Extra. Tried to pop it over the top of him. Couldn't quite do so. Mark Valle right into the path of Garrett. Who wants to get to this one first? Monkey Moon. Both teams setting themselves up. What a pass over. And now NRG can set themselves up for a goal scoring chance. Yeah, NRG trying to draw BDS in with these passes and then hit them with that hard clear. BDS are sitting back. They don't want to fall for that. That midfield option always around for NRG. It was taken away. It was the start of this series. They've reestablished it. And this is when the going gets tough for both teams. We'll find out what they're made of. Marked by eight. From the backboard. Squishy clears. Extra unable to cover that initially. So NRG are going to have a chance to try and shut this down and set themselves up. Defensive positioning by both teams. Counter attack is the main source of goals when you're doing that. But overtime looms. And here it is. Overtime. Whatever else. BDS. One goal away from winning the Stockholm Major. Justin over the top of one. Three players though. It's always so difficult to get past. Through the smoke. The shot on target. Perfect pre-jump by BDS. They're being tested in OT already. Over to Extra. Just putting Garrett under a little bit of pressure. Pop up, squishy, off the backboard. Can he find the set? What a clear that is! BDS pulling clears out of nowhere here. And now it's their first chance to attack. Extra to Monkey Moon! And the bar denies NRG! And now Justin able to get a valuable clear. And you saw Justin with that slight miss hit that set up the opportunity for BDS. Will we see the nerves finally get to NRG? This is their last life! Justin takes it down, couldn't get the fake, couldn't get the challenge. Back into the midfield, Mark with extra, we've seen this before, but NRG also know what it takes to defend that play. Passing and defense from NRG, they are looking for that clear over the top of BDS, who are sitting so, so deep. They've not done this a lot this series, they've been pressuring, now they're going to try and go all the way. The long ball game against NRG. Extra leaves. Will he live to regret that one? Garrett sets up. It's a little bit of a calamity on the goal line, but BDS worked through it. Justin, past one, needs the support now coming down that left-hand side. Squishy midfield, quite easy for Monkey Moon to deal with. BDS still managing that boost to perfection. NRG have been half looking for infield passes, but no one's been there waiting for it. BDS, patient. One goal away from winning the entire thing. They are not rushing this. Justin, perhaps the best goal scorer in RLCS history in the biggest moments. NRG need one now. And NRG don't want to let this position go. Justin to Garrett. Garrett looks for it! Oh! Off the post! Off the crossbar! As close as you can get without scoring! Both teams hit the exact same spot of the goal, and we are still in OT. NRG fighting for their lives. Back out again. NRG are so ready for this. They will not let BDS have this for free. And they took their swings. NRG, so much time in the BDS half, but now it's BDS's turn. Mark Monkey Moon with Mark by eight. Oh, oh save. Save. that is! Monkey Moon now moves on off the backboard. Squishy pops up, buys his team time. How are NRG keeping so, so much composure under this much pressure? The boost is looking phenomenal. Both teams have iced in overtime so far, and they are so close to winning at either end. There's been moments where surely this overtime's over, but not quite yet. Monkey Moon. For Mark, extra goes as well. Team BS still happy for those double commit plays, even during the clutch situation. Ooh. And Mark almost found the ultimate snipe. What a dodge by Justin. And again, getting the ball clear to a safe location. We passed three minutes of overtime. And still NRG are denying BDS that win that they've been waiting oh. for. Garrett awaits the infield. Extra more than ready for the shot. And there is the composure again from NRG. Squishy catching that ball, going for the pass. Now getting a demo. Is it enough for NRG to work with? Oh! Is it? Half. Squishy finishes it off. It's not over yet. Everyone at home, strap in and get ready. We've got game six on the way. BDS, unable to do it at the first try. They've got two more. 
They put a lot into that game. They played well. NRG played better. And like any good video game, you get free lives. Team BDS <laughs> just saw the first one disappear. Not only are they smiling, but also the gameplay speaks volumes. But specifically, extra stops in this game, his clears in this game, have relieved so much pressure for BDS, likely even saving a goal, keeping this even. Right now, we only have two minutes left. BDS with a chance, oh! but Justin trying to give them none. Deft as you like, Justin steps up. How many more of these has he got in him? Snipe this top corner, forces two players to commit, but still NRG are denying the goal. Monkey Moon. Wanted to trust Mark Bayet, Mark Bayet not quick enough, off the back <laughs> Champions failed! Here we come! BDS didn't get it the first try. They were stone cold, no reaction. No, a reaction is definitely visible. NRG refused to lose, barring something crazy on the kickoff, which has not happened. We are going to game seven, and then NRG are one goal away from dying. There's no way this is happening right now. NRG, I thought it was over, but maybe it's far from it. Champions Field, and with the way this series has gone, if we go to another series, all bets are off. I miss this. <laughs> oh, this is so much fun. Ford, NRG are driving us towards that third series. Justin can't quite find it off the setup. Here's Monkey Moon, back over to Mark by eight. What a start that would have been. Huge deny by Squishy, sending it halfway and some. BDS still wanting to finish this as safely as possible. They've missed their chance to throw everything and the kitchen sink at NRG. Now they really just have to commit to that same playstyle that has not worked for two games now. Monkey Moon. With Mark. Shot gonna be too high. Garrett couldn't collect the ball, however. This is gonna be the pace to expect. Who can get that first goal? And will we see more shots going high? That was what crippled BDS in the last game. Good looks clanging them off the crossbar. They will need that accuracy in order to take this title. Mark by eight with the drop and extra. Couldn't get there in time. Monkey Moon just salvages the play. Tries to get his team to rotate back into position. No counter-attack available for NRG. Yeah, and great control by NRG as well. They are just buying so much time in these back corners, waiting for BDS to commit before flipping. Over a minute gone already, and like James said, that BDS shooting doesn't look as deadly as it once did. We want to know whether or not both these teams would be able to step up. Neither team across either series has used a timeout. They're both so happy with what they've brought to the field. I'm super happy with what they brought to the field. Now the bounce out. Extra takes his time. He's got boost to keep this play going. Realizes Squishy's going to be late. He can keep this now. Justin, however, keeps the play out. But so many players were committed initially. NRG will be in retrieval mode. This is testing for BDS. So many denials from NRG. And after denying two games already, that devil on their shoulder that I talked about right now is probably several. Because how can you avoid thinking that the inevitable Series 3 is coming when so many shots miss, when so many saves come through, and when NRG keep winning? There's the shot! Oh! Extra! 1-0! These lower corners have been the golden spot for it, for BDS. They continue to find him. You see Squishy airborne in net. All Extra had to do was put that on target and he slotted it. Two minutes, 53 seconds left. BDS has been fighting from behind for quite some time. Now, will they rise to the occasion? Monkey Moon almost found the setup. NRG, they've been here before. They've made these comebacks happen. Have they got another one ready to pounce? Well, extra for me has just been outstanding. He has been that guy in this final. Here he comes again, but Justin beats him. NRG still looking phenomenal mechanically. Garrett back out. Justin's around. Oh! Monkey Moon stops it. Another stop as well. NRG have to feel what BDS did in the last game. And that was almost the exact same situation, Shogun. And now 
NRG oh, behind. You've got oh, Squishy trying to work it up to Justin, but out of reach. What a pass that was. For once, NRG not ready for it. Infield has been a great option for them. This entire time, final two minutes, NRG are the ones who need a goal to keep this championship alive. Monkey Moon, only over to Squishy. He sets it up to extra! Oh! Two now! BDS! Lead by two. It's been a while since I could say that. And it's extra again. Monkey Moon finding him. You saw the challenge come in, but it wasn't enough. BDS finding those finesse passes right in front of net at the best time possible. NRG need to blitz the last two minutes of this game. Two goals needed, an extra one potentially in overtime after that. They are very much up against this, but if any team can, it is this one. I mean, they've proved resilient, but now this is the toughest situation they've faced. Time is getting away from them, and they're not just looking for one goal. Squishy, booming clear with Justin. It's what's worked so often in the past, but BDS are not a team from the past. They are the new generation looking for a new opportunity to prevent itself, present itself and take it. There's Justin, back down to Squishy! Oh, what a save. BDS are playing this out brilliantly. They're forcing NRG to play as fast as they can. They're not sitting back. That double commit though from BDS. It's allowed NRG to get some both, oh. and the big save from Justin. This has to be it. NRG got it. They have to get one now, Shogun. Yeah, off the kickoff, they have done magic before, but don't know if they've got it again. Squishy, over to the wall. Monkey Moon chases him down. Squishy can keep going, though. These long balls, these high clears are killing NRG. BDS wasting so much time. Garrett takes it low. Monkey Moon will not be fooled. He sees the trophy or the medals right in front of him. Justin needs that support. It's not there. NRG, they're moving in close. They know now is the time. They have to commit. There's no point defending at this stage. That finish line within sight. Monkey Moon, a chance to close it out. Final 10 seconds. Garrett and Justin look for the setup. Oh! What a save that is. That should do it. BDS are no longer the best team online in Europe. They lay claim to the best team offline in the world. Pay them the respect they deserve. BDS have proved everyone wrong. And I think just as much as that, they've proved it to themselves. What a performance by all three players beating NRG twice in a row. And credit to NRG. We thought it was over a long time ago, and they made it a battle. They put on a show. They showed us what they're capable of, but it wasn't enough. BDS, they showed us that they are the best team in the world. A class from NRG, more than worthy to be NA's champion. It is fitting that BDS beat them to claim that title in Europe after two years of no lines. If you are going to beat a team to cement yourself, NRG have always been exactly that. Enjoy it, boys. Drink it in. You waited for this.